So we're going to start doing some stuff that's more down to the basics. You know, I get a bunch of questions about muskies, and I personally always think that everybody wants to hear technical stuff, electronics, secret lure structure, all these types of things. But the reality is the majority of the questions I get are the basics. What kind of line, leader, how do you work a jerkbait, that kind of thing. So one thing that's extremely important is knots. And frankly, I, it, it's something I've, I've really never talked about for all these years. And I just, there's some great knots that you want to use that are going to be the best, the easiest, and the strongest that I've found over the years. And one thing that I do with leader material, very simply, casting. I use straight wire, in some cases for erratic baits. For everything else, I use fluorocarbon because of its invisibility properties. It's better on the fish casting or trolling and it's actually easier to work with so I always keep a Seaguar, a Brazex 130 pound fluorocarbon in the boat at all times so I can tie my own leaders and adapt to anything I might want to be doing out there. Now I'm going to show you a knot that is easier to see <laughs> that I use on this 130 pound fluorocarbon with rope so I can really demonstrate what it is and I'll, I can show you a completed knot here as well but uh, just for sample when you're using rope by the way when the muskies are tough uh, this is something that you can use nice big hook like this I'm just kidding about that by the way but so this is your fluorocarbon line to show you this knot I always recommend lots of uh, tagging give yourself plenty of length here so you can work things well and what you want to do is you, you're basically having a big loop here. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to do the same thing back the other way. One, two, three, and then you're going back through that loop and then with any kind of knot tying, I'm not going to do it here with this rope, but you will generally wet that down with your tongue. And then you're going to just gradually start working that knot down. I will grab with my teeth this end, and I'll pull against that. And you just gradually start working that knot. It's not going to be as smooth here with this rope as it would be on fluorocarbon. But that's the, that's the basics of it. So this looks fairly bulky, this knot, but remember, it's fluorocarbon, it's, it's invisible, and it's way better than using crimps, which can weaken things. And then I just want to show you uh, a couple of these knots in actual fluorocarbon, and you can see that, uh, you know, they're, they're fairly bulky, but super tight. Believe me, I've done this for years, all kinds of different knots. They never, as long as you leave a decent tag in there, leave a fairly uh, large tag in there. Again, they can't see that, and you'll never have an issue with it slipping. I've, I've never had any issues at all. It's far better than using crimps.